Tengganan Penglingsingan, also known as the Bali Aga Village, is one of the fewest ancient villages in Bali that still stands to this day. It is located in Karang Asam, Bali, hidden on the hills of the Karang Asam Regency. Although there are a lot of other curious extinction in this village, such as the still standing laws of Awig Awig and the intricate craftsmanship, there is one feature that's in severe danger of extinction. Ancient language of Baliaga. <laughs> oh, oh my. Let's start with our entrance to the village. As you enter, you'll notice a mini art gallery where tourists could look around. It has a wide variety of photograph pictures. They are taken in the village, giving you a peek of what Tangganan truly is. It also displays a few of Tangganan's traditional instruments, which you could use and play along. The entrance shows three bulls sitting in front of the banner. There is a donation locket right beside the welcome banner where the tourists are asked to donate a payment fee around 35,000 rupiah. As you enter the village, you'll be welcomed by numbers of people selling their crafts and goods right along the pathways. Craft shops are found in every corner, and there are also shops that teach us how to make their crafts. Tenganan is known for its crafts and shops. It is also known for owning and producing the most rarest textile called gringsing. They also produce lontar paintings, along with egg paintings, which are wooden shaped dome egg that's covered with drawings. Back to the language issue, the first investigation of the language that our team did was an interview. Lucky for us, we managed to find one of the speakers almost instantly. A man named Eputo Soreastawan, a tour guide, led us to a house which is the home of Balinese writer Iwayan Murite. The tour guide led us to Mr. Iwayan's home and we sat down with him to talk. According to the tour guide, Mr. Iwa Yan is known for being one of the oldest men living in Tinganan and for owning sets of lontar painting works. He told us that the Bali Aga language is no longer common since the Bali Aga people is used to speak general Balinese languages, although this particular language is only used in special occasions. We then went into a home with Igede Mahendra, another tour guide, who re-explained Mr. Iwayan's explanation. He said that the Baliaga language is in severe danger with no youths interested in it, and the latter only used an occasional ceremony. The Baliaga language has been modified, now widely known as the General Balinese language. Hmm. To validate our research, we also distributed questionnaires. They all agreed to the fact that Yoss aren't interested in learning the ancient language. 
Here are some of the respondents. We conclude that this language is in severe danger, with so little speakers remaining. As an Indonesian citizen, it is a must that we try to be as aware as possible to our culture so that this unfortunate event does not happen to any of our other nation's treasure. Hello, my name is Laura Atifa and you can call me Lala. My name is Grace Stephanie, you can call me Stephanie. Hi, my name is Kaila Ratu, you can call me Kaila. Hi, my name is Sarah Elias, you can call me Sarah. We're, We're from, from Group T3! We hope you enjoyed the documentary and thank you for giving us the love and support we need to get through this.